Hi, this is George Cow. This is a bit of a different kind of short video. Uh, it's about finances, and I've been going through the five essential habits for authentic business success, and good financial skills is one of those five essential habits. It is really, really important for you to be saving for those years at the end of your life where you cannot work anymore physically or mentally. Um, so I recommend that you aim to save for at least 10 years of living expenses um, so that you know when you cannot no longer bring income in for yourself you have those savings that will support you and I've created a, a, a tool here for you to that I'm, that I'm using for myself that you may me find helpful as well and as I'm not your financial advisor so please check with your own advisor or do your own double check the math don't make any financial decisions um, just based on my plan but do your own due diligence okay but um, this plan will hopefully motivate inspire you give you some direction some ideas for your own savings um, so the yellow cells and I'm going to link to this document so you can copy it and have all the formulas yourself the yellow cells can be changed the white cells everything in the white should be should stay the same but just the yellow can be changed so interest rate I'm assuming 7% which at this time in 2015 is not difficult to get 7% uh, stable reliable returns um, I recommend lendingclub.com I think it's in my opinion it's more socially responsible than investing in the stock market um, and it's also more reliable, more stable, less volatile. Prosper.com is a competitor to Lending Club, so you might want to check them out. I like Lending Club better. So um, uh, inflation, 3%. U.S. historical average is a conservative estimate. 30% taxes, cons conservative estimate. And, you, know, you might pay a lot less than that, but it's good to you know, uh, assume more. Um, interest after taxes is basically 7% minus take 30% away from 7%, you get 4.9. Um, so don't don't change these things, change the yellow cells. Starting principle, if you have any savings you already have that you'll start with, but let's, I'm assuming here you're starting from scratch. A thousand, you can change this how, however much you want to start saving monthly. The reason why these monthly keeps going up is because of inflation. And the other cool thing about this, uh, that's why every year you should start saving a little bit more every month. And the cool thing about these numbers on the right-hand side is it already takes into account taxes. It already takes taxes away, and it also accounts for inflation. So the bottom, all these numbers are based on today's dollars or whatever year one is for you that you're using this. The cool thing about these yellow uh, cells here is you can say, well, let's say in month three I want to save an additional $5,000 beyond the 1061 that I'm saving each month, additional $5,000. That will change all the numbers. And then let's say you want to start withdrawing money from your savings in year six for whatever reason five thousand uh, dollars each year until year ten and then you're gonna start withdrawing ten thousand dollars you know from there from your savings beyond that that changes numbers so that at the end you can still see what you are left with again I recommend that you are left with at least ten just just aim for ten years of living expenses in today's dollars for you um, so with that, I always welcome your questions and comments. I hope this is useful for you. Again, do your own due diligence. Talk to your own financial advisor before you use this to make any financial decisions for yourself. I hope this is really helpful for you. And uh, until the next video, I wish you well.